Follow developing news out of Brooks County. Several fire departments, including some from the valley, are on the scene fighting a huge wildfire. Our John Bartell is there, and he's live with Set 5 with more. John. Yeah, traffic's still at a slowdown here at uh, Highway 281 here. Uh, many of the fire trucks still coming in trying to bring that water. I want to let you know a little where we're at right now. Uh, we're just a mile south of the Falfurious checkpoint here at the La Copa Ranch inside, and there are several different fire departments uh, from the Valley or from, from Hidalgo County here. Uh, that's McAllen. We got uh, FAR. We've got Mission here. Now, we do know that this fire uh, has expanded to about 350 acres. I want to bring Bring in County Judge um, Raul Ramirez now to help explain what these guys are actually uh, working in. What is the terrain like out there? It's very, very hot and the terrain is very sandy. We've got a bunch of mesquite trees that are on fire right now. Uh, we've got the bulldozers trying to cut a fire lane so we can contain it. Of course, the wind is playing havoc with us right now. And that's what we've got to worry about. It starting all over and then taking off. But you got all these volunteers here that do it for free. We really appreciate Hidalgo County and all the resources coming down to assist these volunteers. Now, we know that this uh, fire was started uh, by a vehicle carrying illegal immigrants. This is, uh, this is obviously something you deal with on a, on a daily basis out here. Correct. I mean, it, it was a vehicle that was apparently uh, used for human smuggling, and it, it was stopped and it, or abandoned, and we don't know the details. That's law enforcement, but it did catch on fire, and that was the result of why we're here today. But it's, it's the, the conditions of South Texas immigration and also dealing with the issue of fires and the, you know, the grass is just so dry. Gotcha. So something obviously, uh, you know, we're going to have to dig deeper in to see, um, you know, how this actually started, what happened to the illegal immigrants. Uh, just to let you know here, uh, we've got several more uh, vehicles coming in from uh, Hidalgo County. Uh, many of these vehicles, uh, large tanker trucks to get into the train. They're dealing with heavy sand. Can't, it's very hard to get uh, ground crew. Uh, we're going to continue to, to figure out uh, what, where they're at uh, further tonight, trying to get some more information on how they're going to put this out. For now, though, we are alive out here just south of Falfurious. John Bartell, Channel 5 News at 6.